All right, on today's list of things to do to the Evo, we decided to rip out the headliner. And in order to rip out the headliner and rewrap it, we have to pull out the cage and all the panels and the visors and all that stuff. So I thought, what better of a day to do this than the beginning of summer and the middle of the day. We're starting at two o'clock. We probably won't finish it all today, but we're gonna see how far we get. We've both never really done this. I did it one time with a friend on my Genesis, but it's definitely been a long time, so. Here goes nothing. Hey, bye. Bye. I love you. I love you. In or out, Bubba's? Okay. This side? We're gonna start this side. You're gonna start ripping out the panels on that side? Yeah, so you start that side, and then I'll start this side. Are we gonna do a competition? Sure, why not? See who can rip this out. We <laughs> both watch the same videos. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you let's do race? this. Let's race. <laughs> first that was super easy you pop these out that was super easy take off unscrew the visor and then um, just pull it out so there's a screw in the bottom unscrew that and then pop out the glass and you'll see this and it has two uh, 10 mil connections and then just unscrew those and then this pops out and you unplug it So we took out all the pillars. A pillar, B pillar, C pillar. Now what time is it? It's time to take this roll cage out. Okay, we're gonna take the cage out or move it enough to see if mm -hmm. we need to take it all the way out. There you go. All the three bolts with the nuts. We got all the bolts out. There's two plates here and here. We have to jack the car up to stick our hand under here and unscrew the nuts. And now we're going to, these come apart, so. There's a roll cage on my neck. I can see that. How do we take out this cage? You unbolt it from underneath. We did that. We've unbolted everything. Uh, now we can't get the like. Like stuck. So the two parts of the cage, we can't get them apart. Uh, twist them. Twist them. Yeah, like. Just like you're giving a good hand job. There you go. Okay. That's why I can describe it. Well, you would know how to do that, so why don't you come help us? How long is this rod, Jose? Like, you see where the hole is? Yeah. Like a half inch more. So you're literally almost out. I don't get where he's, we're supposed to pull it from, and we can't push it forward. Here you go. What do you pull that leg all the way back 
Okay, so for some reason, the cage is giving us a lot of problems taking it out. Um, it has two parts, like the front part and the back piece that connects to the back, and they're supposed to just pull apart. As you can see right here, like, this should just come out, but for some reason, it's really wedged in there. We've tried literally everything. We've tried WD-40. We don't have a hammer, so we haven't tried a hammer, but we've been yanking and pulling and making sexual sounds for like an hour, so... I'm so sweaty, dude. So is Adrian. We went to the gym today, and I think we're literally sweatier, sweatier now than we were at the gym. But we're anyway. The point is, we're super close, and I think this is going to be our final pull. What? We just solved two problems at once and it was weird. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, so officially we got the cage out. It took probably an hour. It feels like an hour and it's really hot and I'm really sweaty. Um, but we got it out. We struggled a little bit because it wouldn't move forward enough for us to pull it and it just felt really wedged the entire time. But after a lot of twisting and yanking, we got it off. So, all right, how do you feel? feel you, you feel accomplished? <laughs> <laughs> feel sweaty? Let me see your bag. Let me see your bag, dude. Uh, so sweaty. Uh, so sweaty. Am I sweaty now, bag? You're so sweaty. You're like sweaty like when we go to the gym. Oh. So this is all the stuff we've taken out so far. The visors, all the panels, interior pieces, and the roll cage. And this is what my car looks like without a cage. Almost back to normal. I swear, I have like 20 something days till Spocom and I feel like my car's in more pieces now than it's ever been in its entire life. I took Sophie to the shop to get her wide body kit and wrap done in February and it's now June and the car's still just not 100% not completed just because I've been waiting for parts and having to fix things and so I'm very, very anxious to see how the car's gonna look all together but Doing little projects like this, it's, it's really a fun time, but <laughs> such a pain in the butt sometimes, so. Okay. Look at this. Okay, then. Is on this field pump. Okay, don't worry. I got it. <laughs> Can we go your way? It just has to bend at some point. Oh no, I did not like that sound. Okay. Wait, wait. Okay, there. Alright, so the headliner is officially out of the car. It looks like a full blown race car up in here, minus the cage. That was a fail. Fail. Where are the keys? Okay, so Adrian asked me if I wanted to pull out the seats, and I told him no because I'm scared to find what's in here. And like, I told him it's probably a bunch of Cheez Its and food. And. I found some chips. Woo! Cookie. Let's see what's down here. Business card, hairband, some tape, a chip. Not too shabby. The reason we took the cage out is because I purchased the rear seat delete kit. So once I do a vinyl wrap over that, we'll be putting that in the back seat and it'll just make the whole car look a lot cleaner. I installed this cage. It was one of the first mods I did when I got the car like four and a half years ago. I loved it, but I've had my seat belts in there since then and I never had the rear seat delete kit. So I'm super excited to see how that looks, how it all just like comes together and looks cleaner. 
and then I'm going to probably throw my logo sticker over the vinyl so I'm so excited to see what it looks like it took us about two and a half hours to pull out the headliner to take out the cage and take out the rear seat belts but definitely if I had to say how difficult this was removing a headliner from an Evo 8 I wouldn't say it's too difficult. It'd probably be a lot, lot easier if you didn't have a roll cage. This is just the first part. The second part, now we have to wrap um, wrap the headliner. We're going to just wrap fabric over the headliner with glue without removing the original fabric just because I'm a little bit lazy and I feel like it'll work. So, but that's gonna be another day because <laughs> we're too tired. Time for food.